Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my top five must-haves for teething. Today's video is also in collaboration with my friend Amy over from Alaskan Mama Vlogger. If you are coming to my channel from her channel, hello, my name is Tori. I hope you guys will stick around and go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you here. So if you would like to see what my top five must-haves are, then just keep watching. Okay, first thing I'm gonna say is we are all sick here in my house. I am suffering a cold. So if I sound a little bit stuffy and a little bit funny, that is why. Second thing, really quickly, my hair, I don't know what it's doing today. <laughs> if you guys are new, I recently just chopped all my hair off, got a pixie cut, and I tried to do this fun, funky, natural, wavy thing today, and it kind of just turned up looking like a big puffy puffball, so we're gonna ignore that. Anyway, you're here for my top five must-haves, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into them. So, the very first thing that I'm gonna talk about, and it is something that is tried and true here if you are new, I'm on my second baby, so by no means am I a pro, but I definitely feel like I know what I'm doing when it comes to teething, and both of my kids have loved this. I don't really know the actual name of it, but it is by Munchkin, and it is basically just an ice cube ice cube a popsicle mold but they're really small so I don't know if you guys can see the size of them they have rings on them so they are super easy for little hands to grab my favorite thing to do with them when babies are first starting to teeth I just dump my breast milk right into the molds fill them all up and they're super easy just kind of run them under some warm water and they pull out really easily and this will keep them occupied for a good 15 to 20 minutes gnawing on this. The shape of them is really great for little mouths. They're rounded. They can kind of stick them in and move them around. So I absolutely love this tray. I've had it since Nolan was a baby. It's held up really well. Washes really easily. It does come apart, so it detaches. So if you don't want to do six, you could only do three if you wanted to, but this is a definite for us, and I highly recommend looking into something like this. Second must have, keeping on the same lines, feeding category, are these Boone silicone feeders. And I use these with Nolan. They have changed the design of them a little bit, but I still love them. You can pick these up right at Target. What I like to do with these is toss in an ice cube like a couple of crushed ice cubes and just throw them in here or I really like to just take if they're in that first food stage I like to take frozen fruit melon watermelon grapes frozen grapes any type of frozen fruit strawberries pineapple and just throw the frozen fruit in here this little piece here just pushes down the silicone piece pops right off you throw your fruit right in there pop this back on and push it up. This doesn't go anywhere. It's not coming off. These are super convenient, super easy. I really like these. Like I said, you can pick them right up at Target. I think they're only a couple bucks. They come in a two pack and this is a definite for us as well. My next thing is going to be some type of a teether, something that they can physically gnaw on, chew on. And I have two that Elena has loved. The first one is this silicone bead teether from Zen Mamas and she has loved this thing. It's a rattle, it's a teether. She likes chewing on the wood part. She also likes chewing on the silicone bead part. You can just give it to them like this if you're afraid when they're super little of them whacking themselves in the head with the wooden pieces. I love that you can customize them or personalize them. So this would also be a great gift if you are thinking about gift ideas for a new baby, a new mama. I would highly recommend this. She has loved this and even Nolan likes chewing on it and he's three. So <laughs> this is another favorite of ours. Keeping along the same lines is something for them to chew on and gnaw on. I actually couldn't find ours but I will insert a picture of it. Here is the Razzle or raspberry, I think it's called a razzle, razzle teether or raspberry teether or something like that. It literally looks like a pacifier, but the mouthpiece is a leaf and then the part is a bumpy raspberry type texture. And she loved that raspberry teether. So I will put a picture of it here and I will link everything that I'm talking about in the description bar for you guys. 
Moving on to number four, it is a Baltic Amber Teething Necklace. Nolan has used these, Elena uses these, she's actually wearing hers, so I'm showing you one of Nolan's old ones. He wore his all the way up until like 22 or 23 months, he was around two, but then he started putting it in his mouth and biting it, and we couldn't have that, so I took it off of him. And he I know a lot of people wonder, do they work? Are they worth the money? Are they a choking hazard? And for us, yes, they definitely work. I notice a complete difference in baby's demeanor. I notice a complete difference in the amount of drool that they have, pain levels, inflammation of the gums. These definitely work, but you need to make sure that you get an authentic amber necklace. We have always ordered ours from Inspired by Finn. They come with a certificate of authentication so you know that it is real amber and I love these. come in all kinds of colors. This I think is like the honey color. We do take them off for bedtime. I will sometimes loosely wrap this around their ankle as well if while they're sleeping under their PJs if they are super irritable and teething really hard. But for the most part, we take them off during bath time and bedtime. That is, if you're worried about safety and choking and things like that, I would definitely recommend doing that. But this is a definite for us. We have had these. I've used these since Nolan was three months old. And I've never had an issue with it until, like I said, Nolan hit about two. And he was pulling up and biting on it in his car seat. But if you get one that isn't long enough for them to get to their mouth, that isn't something you would need to worry about. But I had gotten him a larger size because he had gotten a little bit bigger. And next time I won't do that, I will just keep it shorter so he can't lift it to his mouth. That is the only suggestion that I would have for these. But I love Baltic Amber necklaces. I think they're definitely worth it. The last thing that I'm going to talk about is essential oils. And I know a lot of moms don't know where to start with essential oils. I said this in my last must-have videos. If you haven't watched that, I will link it in the cards above. It is a mommy must-haves video and I talk about oils. But I love specifically Copaiba oil for teething. I run it starting kind of like at the top of the jawline, down her jaw and over the bridge of this part of her mouth, like over her lip kind of. Copaiba is a very gentle oil. It is a natural anti-inflammatory. It is a natural pain relief and painkiller. And this works beautifully for teething. I don't have it, but I would also recommend clove oil. I have a fractionated coconut oil and a clove oil mixture that I actually put right on her gums. I rub it into her gum line. Clove is a natural analgesic, so um, it's a numbing, has a numbing effect on the gums. So this, the Copaiba in combination with a clove oil, works great for teething. It is all natural. You don't have to worry about what types of chemicals you're putting in your mouth when you're buying those like Orgel and things like that. I have never used those on either of my babies and I've always used some form of oil for teething. My kiddos, when whenever they're teething, they also get a lot of ear pain, which, you know, you're nose, mouth, and your ears are connected. All that stuff, inner workings is connected. So another thing that I really like to do when they're going through those super hard teething days and I notice that they're rubbing at their ears, I like to take a roller bottle that I have mixed up with tea tree oil and some lavender and I just roll it kind of right around the outside of their ear. That helps relieve any ear pain that they're feeling and then when you're putting the copaiba right there, that's also diminishing some of the pain that they're feeling. This, this comfort and the clove like I said is going to numb their gums so if you have any questions about essential oils or are wondering where you can get them how you can get started go ahead and shoot me a message I am happy to help you I am happy to get you started using essential oils in a more natural form of relief for your baby but that is it, you guys. That is it for my top five must-haves for teething. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you came from Amy's channel or if you are somebody new watching my videos, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you stick around. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!